rolling, check. Never got into pitching, but uh, I liked it. But I was more interested in basketball at the time, so wow. um, it was more my sport. I had more. Um, I was kind of better at it as basketball, and I wanted to um, practice some more on it and um, try to make it to the pros if I had a chance. Steph, you're the oldest one. Uh, how do you handle getting up and moving? Uh, your latest move when your dad left Milwaukee and, and came to Toronto. How did you How did you handle that? I liked it a lot. Um, when he was in Milwaukee. We didn't get to see him a lot. So um, when he came to Toronto, we um, traveled to here um, often, and we got to see him probably like twice a month. And that was a lot more than we did in Milwaukee. So um, it was better. Steph, what about you? You're older. What do you worry about making friends and leaving your friends at other places? Well, it was hard leaving my friends, but uh, I made good friends while I was here. And um, I know it's going to be when we have to leave again, uh, if we do. Um, it's going to be hard to leave them, but I'll be going back to the friends I, I had before. So. Now, uh, he's not telling us something that we don't know. You're not planning on leaving here right <laughs> now, are you? I hope not. No, I really like it here. And, you know, having my family up with me this year for the first time has really helped things out a lot. And they, they, I think they like Canada. My kids have made a great adjustment to school. Antonio Davis almost lost it. Del Curry left alone and can't it. Three-pointer from Del Curry. Welcome back to Off the Hardwood. I'm Paul Jones, and we are here with the Curry clan today. And Del, it wasn't always basketball. I understand that you were pretty fair at another sport, too, involving a little round ball. Yeah, I played baseball. That was probably that was the first sport that I I'd played. My dad was a big baseball guy and uh, he introduced that to me first and I got drafted out of high school by Texas Rangers. Yeah. Now I gotta ask the guys, uh, uh, Steph and, and Seth, uh, do, do you play baseball at all knowing that your dad used to play with the, with the glove and the ball? How much do you guys play baseball? Uh, we played baseball a lot when we were in Charlotte. Um, played for about four or five years yeah. and um, never got into pitching but uh, played everything else and uh, I liked it but I was more interested in basketball at the time. So. Why? Um, it was more my sport, kind of, um, I had more, um, I was kind of better at it as basketball and I wanted to um, practice some more on it and um, try to make it to the pros if I have a chance. Tell me about homework time at home, knowing how, <laughs> knowing how mom is into school. You, you guys, tell me about homework time at home. Is it, is it tough? Well, there's no slacking. <laughs> of course, um, she's always on us about it. and. Um, she expects a, a lot of um, good grades and um, a lot of good effort into it. One of the classiest athletes you will meet in or out of the association. And when his playing days are over, they should find a place for people like Del Curry. Oh, I'm sure you will see him involved with some. Welcome back, and we're told that the apple doesn't often fall very far from the tree. Now, we hear that the Curry boys can really shoot the ball just like Dad. I, I, I guess they got a good teacher, so yeah. how, how much do you work with your kids? Uh, uh, Basketball. Well, when they first started, I, I worked on them as far as their fundamentals and mechanics, but uh, now they just get in the backyard and turn the light on. It's dark, and, and often we got to call them in. So they, they would do a lot of work on their own. I want to thank the entire Curry clan for being with us today. We had a great time. Uh, you're a, a great family. Uh, both of you great role models for as parents. Dell is an athlete. Sonia is a mother. And, and you guys, are, you guys are, are pretty lucky to have the parents you have. So. Uh, for all of us here, and uh, I will make sure that the people that, uh, that own this company will give me a new sweatsuit. <laughs> I'm Paul Jones, and we'll see you next week off the hardwood. Thank you.